the girl. About 100 Northern Kentucky high school juniors returned to life as normal today. The students said Beachwood High School voluntarily gave up their phones, their tablets, their game systems, and all social media for one week. Can you imagine? Long time for that. I know. As Joe Webb shows us, they were anxious to get plugged back in, but they were also grateful for what they learned. All right, friends, guess what today is? Are you guys ready to have your phones back? The 16 and 17 year olds of Julie Rash's English classes at Beachwood High School did the unthinkable for one week. They unplugged from their phones, tablets and game systems and stayed off social media. It was worth 700 points if they journaled about it. My fifth night is a technology free person. I'm dying here. I need my phone. I want to text my friends. I want to post on social media. I want to know directions. Desperate sounding, but Olivia Middendorf, who admits to cheating a little, says it was well worth it. I think it's good not to have your phone because I, I use, I accomplish so much like in my life and I clean my room, I talk to my parents, I did stuff, I took runs, like I finished stuff. You gotta have something to do. Nightly events were planned to help the juniors get through it. All said they enjoyed the get togethers because they talked, they met new people because they weren't staring at their phones. 99 Beachwood Juniors unplugged for the last week and when they got their phones back today, they said the things they missed the most in order were texting, music, and social media. They did miss a few other things. Zach Dethridge missed his GPS on a drive to Indianapolis. It was kind of difficult, but my dad was in the passenger seat actually, just giving me directions. Um, he did fall asleep a couple times, so it was kind of difficult. Aspiring writer Molly Tierney missed her keyboard and had to write in longhand for the first time since grade school. She also missed a significant text. When I turned on my phone, my neighbor asked me to prom. Molly let them know the text got her on the news. There were big lessons learned. First, that technology is a great connector, but it is not the connection. It's not that important. Family and friends and stuff is way more important than film. A great message, whether it comes to you by text or face to face. Be careful. In Fort Mitchell, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. OMG, is Molly going to the prom with him or not? I need to know. Julie Rash says that she hopes other schools and organizations follow Beachwood's lead and try a technology purge. This is the fifth year that students at the school.